Team Tactical. Hi, this is Sandri from Home Securing Service, oh. and I'm calling to notify huh? you, sir, that someone is breaking into your home. Oh, right now, some big bastard guy on your porch, right? I'm really sorry, right, to inform you, but would you like me to send no. emergency servicing? No. No, no, don't send them. They take too long. Besides, they don't even do anything. Bastard guy's trying to break into your... Overkill. Next week. Perfect. What's up guys, Jake with TN Tactical coming at you with a special video today. We're going to talk about why you may be interested in getting a PDW system. Let's talk about PDWs. At first glance, you might look at this and think, well, my goodness, TN Tactical, that looks like something that the ATF Alphabet Boys would not be okay with. Gee, little boy, that sure does look awful tactical. We will get into that in just a second and explain why you can legally have the source up and why it's technically not considered an SBR. Let me explain to you my journey that I took to get where I am today with this PDW. This is not a new concept. There have been different pistol systems that take Glocks or SIGs and Berets and things like that and turn them into sort of a PDW system, much like this brace does. There's a lot of different companies out there pursuing similar goals and objectives with this. Let me explain to you, first of all, why you want a PDW system and why you may want to get this particular one from Recover Tactical. So PDWs, the first thing that comes to mind is compact, easy to carry, easy to stow away and also deploy in case of an emergency situation. Personal defense weapon, PDW. So let's talk about situations where this may actually be preferable to use over just a regular handgun. Let's say you and your wife just got home, let's say it was Darren movie night, and you get home and you notice something's a little bit off. You see there might be some movement in the windows or maybe you see the back door has been broken into and suddenly you realize, okay, someone's been in your house and they could still be in there. You've got two choices. Choice one, use your regular handgun that you carry for your personal protection. Choice two, pull this out. You might have this stowed away either in your back seat somewhere or in the floorboard to take care of this situation. You can obviously mount a red dot. You can put flashlight on there if you want to. But the main takeaway is you've got this brace here that really does make it feel like an actual sub gun or a PCC or something where you can actually keep up with the red dot and not lose track of it. It really does feel good. Of course, you've got this mag well here, so you can actually hold an extra mag there without scrambling in a pocket trying to find it. Just pops out real quickly, nice and easy, just like that. So you can reload it. And the best part is, see this here? You got a charging handle there as well that it comes with as well. By the way, we are unloaded. I held that slide release down to simulate that for you. Now you can go crazier with it. If you want to put a suppressor on your handgun, you can. I wouldn't personally do that because my goal with this particular setup is to make it as compact 
as possible. It locks into place there. That's just about 12 inches. Now, obviously I've got Glock 34 in here, so it's got a longer slide and barrel. So the barrel and slide does come out a little bit further, making it about 13 inches. But this particular system is compatible with almost all Glock double stack models. You can put a 19, a 17, whatever you want in there. And then suddenly it makes your Glock into an actual PDW. Being compact and easy to stow away was extremely important. Let's say you're going hiking somewhere or camping, you could keep something like this in your backpack. So there's other systems similar to this, like the Micro Roni, for example. That's more of like a PCC set for your Glock. And there's other companies that make your Glock more like an AR pistol than a PDW. The main stipulation for this was I wanted to make something that was going to be very compact. And unfortunately, those other systems that are priced similarly to this would really cause the handgun to be more or less this size the entire time. And that's not really what I was looking for. So that's why I went with the Recover Tactical system that they have here. It is polymer plastic, but even this up here, this Picatinny rail with the red dot up here is also plastic, but it's actually very good. Now you do see it does bend here just a little bit. So I can bend it just by pushing down like that. But as far as handling recoil goes and everything, and the purpose of this, I'm not going to be using this to shoot out like 100 yards or anything crazy like that. That having that be a little bit bendy with the plastic is not going to be an issue. We've already been kind of running around here and shooting quite a bit, and we've not had any issues with losing zero or anything like that. And I've got this zero currently at about 30 or 40 feet because, again, PDW, personal defense weapons for short range encounters. TN Tactical hasn't told me crap about how this thing works, so let's see if an idiot can figure it out. I bet. Oh, monkey. Oh, 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 oh. So let's talk about the Recover Tactical specifically. They have a lot of different options available to you for how you want to set this up. To get just the brace by itself, the actual tan part that you see here, not counting this right here, that is the mag holder. To just get the brace itself, it's about $99, $89. What really caught my attention that got me interested in this was I actually found it on sale for like 70 bucks. <laughs> I want one bad. You're shooting pretty good with that, I'll uh, tell you yeah, what. $99, you say? Yeah, just for the brace, no red dot mount or anything else, comes but. This comes, does not come with the uh, magazine holder, correct? Correct. The magazine holder. Okay, um, nice. So like always, I like it, man. I'm gonna have to get one of these. This is, uh, how, what are the kids saying these days? Sick! Is that right? I don't know, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately went to their website to check it out. Quickly found that there were other options available online and different combinations you could set up. Me, being TN Tactical, if I'm gonna review this thing, I wanted to go all the way with it. So I ended up getting the entire brace and I got this rail that actually attaches here and it actually gives you a top Picatinny rail for a red dot. There's another one back here there that's just a side rail. I also got this mag holder, mind you, it's a mag holder. This entire system actually cost me just under 200 bucks. What you haven't seen is it also came with a holster Yes, my friends, you can holster this and a sling as well. So they give you a lot of different carry options if you want to really go full-blown tactical. Me, in my personal opinion, I felt like the sling was kind of uh, cheap. It felt like sort of like a bungee cable, more or less. And I really didn't want to try to holster this thing, but you actually could holster if you want to. The holster actually just sits right here. It locks in right there on that little section right there, and you're able to just kind of pull it out as well. So it sits on the outside. Obviously, you're not going to be carrying this inside your waistband. It is an outside waistband holster. But it does come with all that, too, for that same price of just under 200 bucks. You also do have a nice charging handle here. It came with both a high-profile charging handle like this. It also came with a lower one that kind of sits a little bit more flush to the slide. When I was looking at this, I was really concerned, just at first glance, that this optic up here and this mount, this Picatinny rail, I was really worried this Picatinny rail might actually block the barrel from ejecting but as you see there it does come out far enough to where the bullets do come freely through now we did have one issue where it randomly had a bullet casing up in there just underneath the red dot that was kind of weird okay so super low right mm. oh man look at that that's oh. an interesting development let's see if that happens more often i'm not exactly sure if it was going to stop it from feeding 
or shooting, but this is something to take note of. Other than that though, so far we've not had any issues with it. You can shoot this both deployed or still folded up if you wanted to as well, which is pretty nice. So I'm using my iron sights. I'm kind of missing some of these steel targets. Mm. Try the red dot. So I'm gonna use the red dot from out here. Red dot just makes it way more accurate, more consistent. And I was just shooting it like that too, guys. I mean, you don't have to use the brace if you want to. I mean, you could really just probably go out there like this. Either way, it's fully functional. You do have the front and rear sight available to you. So if you don't want to use a red dot for whatever reason, or if you don't have this mount, you can still just use the front and rear sight. So don't feel like you actually have to get this red dot mount. I just went ahead and wanted to go the extra mile and put the red dot mount on here. I mean, you can definitely use your iron sight to just kind of have to tuck in just a little bit more to line everything up just right. But it is possible. So good on them for doing that. Now. Is this system making the scratches on the slide that I see there? No, this the scratches on the slide here, that's actually just where this was a competition pistol. I holstered and unholstered it a significant number of times. It's already on the handgun before we even started reviewing this. Now there is one con to this, and that is to actually remove the handgun or place it, you have to use an Allen wrench. So if you want to clean the handgun, for example, you're going to actually have to use an Allen wrench and unscrew this particular screw right here and they'll actually free it up and the whole thing unfolds and allows you to get the handgun out. With other systems like the Microroni, they have sort of like a latch system where it's just like a quick detach. That way you can easily take the pistol in and out of the system. With this particular one, if you had like a catastrophic failure, something inside the actual handgun itself, you wouldn't really be able to disassemble the handgun or clean it or do anything until you got this removed. This stabilizing brace will not work with the PSA dagger. And I highly doubt that it will work with really any other Glock clones, including like the P80s and stuff like that. The main reason is because it is a very snug tight fit on the rail, as well as the shape of the trigger guard. And if you've paid attention to the trigger guards of Glock, they're very unique compared to daggers or the P80s. And any kind of variation right here in that front of the trigger guard will not work with this brace only for Glocks, but it can work for a lot of Glocks. And they even list out the ones they're compatible with on their website. All right, so PDWs. And Gerald, I think a lot of people will find that they have a really good use at some point in time in their everyday life. It definitely is a niche. It's something between a pistol and a full-size PCC, but I really do think that once you try one of these, I imagine that you'll really enjoy it. And I think that this particular one from Recovery Tactical is a good one to start with. It's a lot cheaper than the other competing models out there, but it's also very, very durable and very sturdy when you're actually using it. Lightweight, but most importantly, extremely compact. Guys, if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Did you ever pick up one of these? Have you ever tried the PDW system before? Love to hear from you. We will see you next time. Advanced techniques on how to use the PDW. People are going to get mad because we're having too much fun. Can't have fun, damn it. This is a gun tube channel. Uh, what are you talking about? Have fun uh, for? QA says no more fun. <laughs>